Welcome, one and all, in here, out there, all around the world. Uh, welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. The big story... <laughs> Friday crowd. Friday crowd right there. Now, the big story all week long has been the uh, impeachment inquiry of Donald Trump, a historic event that everyone saw coming the moment he announced his candidacy. <laughs> Everybody, like, riding down... Riding down the escalator like that. Going down. Everybody saw it except Donald Trump, because ever since we learned that Trump called the president of Ukraine and asked for political favors, he's been forced to face something he has never had to before. Consequences. <laughs> and Trump has no one else to blame but Donald Trump, because it turns out Trump himself decided to release the rough transcript of his phone call after a heated internal dispute among Trump's senior aides over whether that was a good idea. <laughs> okay, if I'm hearing you right, you're all saying that this is a bad idea. <laughs> Perfect, because those are as good as my ideas get. <laughs> but... That's a difficult sentence to read, I gotta say. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But Trump didn't wade into this hot water all alone. Oh, no, no. According to the whistleblower, the president's personal lawyer, Mr. Rudolph Giuliani, is a central figure in this effort. Ooh, Rudy better hire a lawyer, and for his sake, it better not be Rudy Giuliani. <laughs> Rudy, evidently, is at the center of this swirling corrupt NATO. The whistleblower says that as a direct follow-up to the president's calls with Mr. Zelensky about the cases they had discussed, Giuliani traveled to Madrid to meet with one of uh, Zelensky's advisors. Ah, yes, Spain, where everybody goes for the famous running of the bull... <laughs> I'm the one in the red bandana. Uh, old Blowy McWhistler says that Rudy's freelance diplomacy was so troubling that State Department officials spoke to Mr. Giuliani in an attempt to contain the damage to U.S. national security. Rudy, okay, we're here. This is an intervention <laughs> to stop your foreign intervention. <laughs> also, we've seen you on cable news. Please tell us you have a drinking problem. Because <laughs> we don't, we don't under, and he's gone. Uh. Rudy's shaping up to be the fall guy for this whole fiasco, because inside the White House, most have blamed Giuliani. They are throwing Giuliani <laughs> under the bus, and by the looks of him, not the first time he's been run over by public transport. <laughs> but, but... <laughs> that old second <laughs> show feeling. Yeah, but according to Rudy, he wasn't going rogue. He was acting as an official diplomat. You know who I did it at the request of? The State Department. I never talked to a Ukrainian official until the State Department called me and asked me to do it. And then I reported every conversation back to them. And, uh, Laura, I'm a pretty good lawyer, just a country lawyer. Sure. <laughs> sure, just a country lawyer. Rudy Giuliani. Hey, can you remind me what dusty little town Rudy's from? New York City! <laughs> Thank you. TV condiment cowboys. But Rudy swears the State Department put him up to it. And he says he has the receipts. It's all here. Right here. Uh, the, the first call from the State Department. Wow. So he's got it all on his phone. Can we zoom in and see what those two messages are? <laughs> An alert from GoonCigars.com. Your pre-chomp cigar is ready for pickup. And the other, a text from Trump saying, do not say State Department calls you. P.S. Are the cigars in yet? The, uh... Yeah, you see? You see? <laughs> <laughs> the pressure seemed to be getting uh, to Rudy. So yesterday, he got on the phone with a reporter for The Atlantic, and I bet he's regretting releasing the transcript of this call, too. Rudy went off yelling, It is impossible the whistleblower is a hero, and I'm not. And I will be the hero. These morons, when this is over, I will be the hero. <laughs> Fun fact, the guy screaming, I will be the hero, rarely the hero. <laughs> those fools, those fools, they said I was insane. I'll show them all. I'll show them who's mad. Ha, 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 ha.
Of course, no one in the White House wants to praise Rudy right now. According to the reporter yesterday, a former White House official said this entire Ukraine scandal was Rudy putting <laughs> in Trump's head. <laughs> My only question, how can you possibly fit any more in there? <laughs> pack it. Just pack it.